Well, howdy, y'all. Today we're going to take a quick look at some rocks that we've been picking up and collecting. I wouldn't say collecting. We've kind of been going out on a mission. <laughs> hmm. But it's a good one. And um, these are some tiny quartz crystals that this isn't the best specimen, but um, we've been digging them up out of clay. It's a two minute walk roughly three minute walk to where these are located and uh, once in a while we find a little bit larger crystals um, I am not sure what the green mineral is or material is but I'm gonna guess copper or I don't know but it's pretty and it really does add to the crystal the clay is extremely difficult to get out uh, I'm working on getting them cleaned up better and uh, this is just a quick video like I say to show you what uh, some of the stuff we've been finding and uh, I excuse the blurriness please so for the most part the vein that is back there has it's a green vein and sections of the green are it's kind of like a green sand it's not hardened or anything and then you find a hard section that has these chunks with the quartz crystal in them and so and they wash up and um, some pretty neat little little pieces so if anybody knows how to identify those or what that green is please let me know this here is a really dark it's a dark purple or a burgundy colored uh, I'm not sure what type of rock. Uh, I thought maybe jasper, but probably not. And it is non-porous and extremely smooth. When it's dry, it is more purple colored and very pretty. Um, and there's quite a bit of it up there where we go. Uh, it's a short drive up the road. And um, this piece here uh, has a has an extremely smooth surface on the top part and then it's more quartz or rough right here um, it's silky smooth actually and it's too soft or I'm sorry it's too hard to be serpentine um, so whatever it is it was worth picking up and dragging home these here I do believe are uh, the uh, fossilized wood this is from the ditch, from the road ditch. Uh, just take a nice drive and find a nice plot to park and take a look in the ditches and you find all kinds of cool stuff in these parts. So we are blessed enough to have gone a few times prior to it snowing and not being able to get there any longer, at least until springtime probably. Um, this is just a mixture of some of the real pretty pieces that we decided to, to haul home. Uh, there are large chunks of quartz that we check for gold that come up sometimes. And um, we have several pieces of fossilized wood. We've got some agatized pieces of uh, unknown rock or quartz. We've got pieces of quartz. Um, just lots of pretty stuff. Some jasper in there. There is a cougar actually that has chased us off early. And uh, I do plan on taking the camera back up next time we go so that I can videotape uh, a little bit of, of where these rocks are coming from. Those will be used later. This little slab right here got poured in front of the greenhouse last year. And this has several years worth of rocks that were collected from the beach in Crescent City, California. These rocks are very special and dear to my heart and a lot of good memories in these rocks. Um, the beaches there have the most magnificent selection and colors that you would just to die for. 
these here. I've also got some crystals that I put in there uh, and embedded in them in there permanently. Uh, yeah, and so that's a happy little place there. And just a pile of rocks for future uh, pathway making. A little bit of artwork on our way out the door. And wishing you all a very happy and safe 2020 from Cave Junction, Oregon. Thanks for watching.